Good morning all, Mary Bolger here, naturalist with Iowa County Conservation, and I wanna welcome you to our virtual nature crafts. Um, we are going to be making some plantable paper today, some recycled plantable paper. And um, I'm just gonna go quickly over the materials we're gonna need, and then I'm going to kind of get you started on how to make it. Um, there is a little dry time involved, so um, I'll kind of show you some examples, some pre-made examples that I um, made. So this is a sheet of recycled plantable paper. And what you're going to do is take some old scratch paper or even newspaper. I mean, you can use a lot of different things and then make some plantable paper that you can then make a card with, um, give as a gift. Um, because this time we're starting to think spring, it's warming up and starting our gardens and flowers and different things like that. So this is going to be a fun activity that the whole family can do and kids can especially get involved and um, love that. So here's what you need for your plantable paper. Materials, you're going to need some scratch paper. Um, colors are really neat to use. So today I am using some bright orange. Um, the example I made, I made, had some green, but you can use newspaper, white paper, whatever you have um, on hand. Um, you're going to need a piece of screen. So you might have a piece of window screen, um, or if you don't have access to a piece of the fine mesh window screen, you can use paper towels too, because you're gonna need to drain some of the water out of what we're gonna do today. Uh, you're gonna need something to stir with, so a big tablespoon works well. Um, a little cup and um, to kind of measure some things out. It doesn't have to be any specific size. Something to catch the water in. So I'm using a big um, uh, cake pan here. You're going to need a blender. Um, and this is just a big old blender, but you can use a small bullet blender um, as well. And then you're gonna need some uh, water to um, and a bowl to soak your paper in to get it a little bit softer. And then of course, some seeds. Now, when you are doing this, you can use any type of seeds you want. I'm using some prairie seeds today, but you can use annual flower seeds, you can use vegetable seeds, whatever you like to use, and you wanna to try to get started and give in your plantable paper. So first step that you're gonna to need to do is take your paper and you're going to tear it into smaller pieces. So I usually tear strips and then I tear pieces up. It doesn't have to be any specific size or anything like that. Um, and then you're going to put them in the water and you're gonna soak your paper for at least an hour or so, um, or you can soak, soak it overnight. What that will do, you can see my water here with this one is a little bit orange, some of the dyes come out, but it makes it really soft and a little bit easier or a lot easier to blend. So once you have your um, paper, I soaked this overnight, so you're gonna take your blender and you're going to put everything, um, all the paper in the blender. You don't wanna put all of your water in there, all of your liquid, because then you'd have to squeeze a little bit more out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all my paper in, and then I'm gonna take my cup here, and I'm gonna put about a cup of water in here. Um, I'm gonna to try to, maybe I'll put two cups in here, because this one is a little bit drier. Um, and then I'm gonna to start to blend it. If you find that it's not blending very easily um, and it, you need a little bit more liquid, then you can always do that. I have, still have some liquid left. So put your top on your blender. Um, this one has lots of different settings here. I found that it works better if you, or it works really well if you pulse your blender and when those pieces are a little bit bigger. So we'll turn it on. Hold the top so it doesn't splash everywhere. And then if you found that it gets a little bit stuck there, take your spoon, stir it around a little bit. You can see it's actually already into some nice pieces. You want to blend this up just a little bit more so it's a nice pulp. So we'll start again here. It's not blending. Let's add a little bit more water to that. There we go. 
we'll try again. All right, I'm gonna check this out and see what we have. I think that looks pretty good here and I'll take it out so you can kind of see what the condition of the paper is. I always also like to have a towel here so we can set things on so we don't drip everywhere. So um, what you're gonna do is take your paper pulp and another use for this cup here is to mix your seed in. So I'm gonna fill my cup about halfway here and then I'm going to take some of my seeds and this is the part where you can kind of use your own discretion how many seeds you put in. I put a nice generous pinch of seeds in my cup here. I'm going to show you that so you can see it and then mix it around with your spoon. Make sure it's all mixed around in there in your cup and now here's going to be the fun, messy part. Um, kids will like this. This is what we're gonna need kind of the big pan for here. Um, I'm gonna take my paper and spread it out on the screen. And see it's in a big kind of glob right there. I'm gonna take my spoon and kind of spread it out a little bit. Um, So it's nice and even. And if you have lots of screen, you can make bigger pieces of paper. You can use more, a couple cups. If you wanna make full sheets of paper to make some cards. And then you're gonna take another screen, put it on top, and here's where you're gonna squeeze out the water. I'm gonna hold it up so you can kind of see. Squeeze out that water, that excess water. This'll help when um, your paper is drying, okay? So we're squeezing out that water into the pan as much as you can. You don't have to get every single drop out, but as much as you can get out. Then you can take that top screen off and then you're gonna let this dry. It takes about, I would say, a day for this to dry out. Um, if you really squeeze the water out, it might um, take a little bit less time. Um, but you can see that my paper is nice and flat. Um, I'm gonna let it dry. You can let it dry out in the sun or you can let it dry inside. Once that paper is dry, you can use it as a whole sheet like this and just give this, stick this in a little card or give it as a gift. Or you can be a little bit more creative and you can cut out different shapes, circles, hearts, um, you can fold it up and make nice little cards um, and write in them. Include with, um, if you're giving this as a gift, what the seed is inside and what it needs to grow. There are lots of different seeds where um, they need to be planted at a certain time or they need um, certain temperatures or conditions um, to grow. So make sure you include that um, if you're giving this as a gift. And then you can, and also maybe some instructions on how to plant them for this, those specific seeds, and then give them as wonderful spring gifts to help people grow different things um, in the springtime. So if you have any questions about our plantable paper here, please put those in the comments and I'd be happy to answer those for you. If you have any comments or requests for future Nature Crafts Live, you can put those in the, in the comments also or email me at mbulger at co.iowa.ia.us. You can check out all of our past Nature Crafts Live um, here on our Facebook page or check out our YouTube page, just search Iowa County Conservation and then find the playlist for our virtual nature craft series. They're all there. Um, you can also see our other virtual series about, it's called Critters Live, where we learn about a different native Iowa animal every Monday morning at 10. Check those out on our Facebook or our YouTube page as well. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope you get out this weekend. It is gonna be gorgeous um, and, and or do this um, 
plantable paper and give it as a nice springtime gift. Thanks for watching today. Have a wonderful weekend.